PUBG vs Fortnite is a debate that's older than time itself. The one is said to run like a syphilitic 11 year old Labrador, and the other one is said to be played exclusively by children younger than the previously mentioned Labrador. Now today I'm not going to try and settle this debate, but I am going to pit the two games head to head to see if PUBG does perform as terribly compared to Fortnite as everybody says it does. And to do this as effectively as possible, I'm going to use frame time graphs so we can have a look at all those yummy lag spikes. And the answer isn't as obvious as you'd think it is, so stay tuned for more. With the overly dramatic intro out of the way, and before we have a look at the all-important frame time graphs, I just want to point out the hardware that I used for this test. I'm using a GTX 1080 that's not been overclocked, it's just kind of been allowed to do its own thing. It's paired with an AMD Ryzen 1700X, which has been overclocked, to 3.9 GHz. Now when looking at how I actually tested the games, for the first round of tests I started the benchmark at the beginning of the airplane slash battle bus and then ran it for 5 minutes from that point. Now I did different tests in a different way after that but we'll get to that a bit later. When it comes to the actual settings that I used for both the games I ran it at 2560 by 1440p and at the highest settings available for that specific game and then I obviously turned VSync off so that you don't have a frame cap at 60 fps. Hmm, look at that graph. Now before we actually talk about what's going on here, I just want to do a quick breakdown of how to read these. Now the orange is Fortnite and the blue is PUBG. This grey line here is very important because that's the 60 frames per second threshold. So everything below that is faster than 60 frames per second and everything above that is a dip below 60 frames per second. So these spikes, the higher that they are, the slower the frame rate. The thing is, the kind of single spikes on their own aren't that bad, it's when there's like groups of them together that you really feel frame drops and you really feel the stutter. Now with the brief explanation out of the way, do let me know in the comment section below if you want a more detailed explanation of how these graphs work. I can make a separate video, but a lot of YouTubers have started using them, so I think you guys would be fairly familiar with them. So anyway, let's try and interpret this data. Now this graph is a little bit misleading because the first huge amount of lag that you see here is actually from the battle bus slash airplane. Now if you discard that first battle bus section the graphs actually look fairly similar. One thing that you would notice though is that the average blue kind of section is higher up than the average orange section and that's because at the highest settings for both games at the same resolution PUBG does actually have a lower average frame rate than Fortnite does. So Fortnite averages about 90 frames per second at these settings with this hardware whereas PUBG averages about 80. It's quite difficult to ignore that initial huge bit of stutter but the thing is it doesn't actually affect game play because you're not actually doing anything at that point except for falling face first to the ground. So what I decided to do was redo the tests without that section involved. So it's as you land and start gaming that I started the test and ran it for again five minutes for each test. And then what I also tried to do was match the frame rates between the games so that what you see is the kind of latency difference between the two games. These are the settings that I had to use for the games to both average pretty much 80 frames per second. And as you can see, I actually had to scale up the resolution of Fortnite a little bit for its frame rates to drop down to the same FPS that PUBG gets at 1440p. It's not significantly higher, but the difference is there. And what it does show is that Fortnite is less demanding than PUBG, but we did all know that. Now, which game you think looks better is very much up to personal preference, I think. And with the altered settings, PUBG averaged 80 frames per second and Fortnite averaged 79. So it was as close as I would possibly be able to get them. Now let's look at this graph that doesn't include the airdrop. Uh, the Fortnite is again orange and PUBG is again blue. At first glance, what seems the most evident is that they are actually very similar looking. Yes, I know they're running at the same average frame rate, but PUBG doesn't have significantly more massive spikes. In fact, to near to the end of the test, it actually looks like Fortnite was doing worse. 
But things seem to change a little bit when you look closer because PUBG has a bigger spread in its frame rate. Um, and one of the issues with that is the fact that the games don't run significantly higher than 60 frames per second. So that variation often pushes the game below 60 frames per second and that's when you start feeling it. And when you look at Fortnite, it more consistently stays above 60 frames per second. But honestly, when I was doing these tests, the games felt fairly similar when it came to kind of intermittent frame stutter. And then I thought maybe I was just lucky with the specific server, so I redid the test three times for each game, and the results changed for each test. So in some of the servers, PUBG performed very badly, and some of them it performed much better. And that's the problem with these Battle Royale games. It's the fact that you can't log onto a specific server, so you don't know what your ping's going to be going into the match. One of the nice things about Fortnite though, is the fact that you can choose a maximum average ping. Now, you used to be able to set the kind of country that the server was placed in on PUBG, but you can't do that anymore. So you just kind of have to hope that PUBG's got your back. And in these kind of frame graphs that we've seen here, it only has your back about half the time. And with that, I think I can conclude this video. I think in a perfect world where you live right next door to the servers for both of these games, I think they'd perform very similarly and you'd have a very similar amount of kind of stutter and lag on the server that you're gaming on. But unfortunately we don't live in a perfect world and none of us live next to the servers that we game on. And it seems as though Fortnite is better at managing its servers than PUBG is and you're more likely to end up on a server with less lag than PUBG does. So yes, it seems as though this conclusion wasn't as mind-blowing as I said it would be in the beginning of this video. <laughs> anyway, if you like the video, do like and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. And uh, let me know in the comment section below what else you'd like to see from me in the future. And until the next video, bye-bye.